Hello and welcome to Legacy IS Academy. In today's video, we are discussing about pink ball worm. So why are we discussing about pink ball worm? It is running in news because in the certain districts of Punjab as well as Rajasthan, certain districts of Punjab as well as Rajasthan, which are known for cultivation of cotton, has witnessed this pest this year okay and the government has started taking action very recently that's why this is running in news okay so about the pink ball worm before we enter into uh, what is the worm or the pest about this this is important why we are reading or concerned about pink ball worm is because last to last year in 2021 it has affected almost 4 lakh acre of uh, or rather destroyed 4 lakh acre of cotton in indian subcontinent Okay, so what is the news about or why about the um, pink ball worm? He, it is endemic to India. It is coming, originating from within India itself. Uh, and this is how usually the stages of butterfly or larva from uh, uh, adult to egg, larva uh, and larva's development and cocoon and again the pest. This the same cycle is followed by the pink ball worm also. Okay. What are the main issues? A female, a female of uh, pink ball worm, she will lay eggs of approximately 200 in her own life cycle. Matlab in her entire life cycle, which is of approximately uh, 25 to 30 days. 25 to 30 days is the life of this entire uh, worm. Okay. And in this 10, 20, 25 to 30 days, one adult female will proliferate, will give eggs. 200 eggs at a time okay so this this number is a very significantly dangerous number because it it has a capability of spreading very fast okay plus other than the the, the bigger issue is also this that they have a life a cycle of 25 to 30 days and in one cycle in one uh, plucking season which is coming approximately 45 days 40 to 45 days in this uh, plucking season, they can live two lives. Matlab, they, if they are, there are multiple of them, they can quickly eat up on the available amount of cotton. Okay. The other issue is that uh, this is the developmental stage of the pest also, right? So, this adult female will lay her eggs. These eggs are laid, laid on the cotton balls itself. Okay on the balls once the flowering season begins then the adult will come and lay her eggs her eggs on the cotton ball okay and then this larva which comes out of the egg will start feeding on this cotton ball itself so the fiber fiber will be slowly and over a period of time eaten over a period of time and larva will develop to become an adult mature larva as soon as it becomes a mature adult with that ball it will fall down on ground and then the cocooning will begin by using the soil moisture so it needs the warmth of the cotton fiber and the cocoon will get uh, water from the soil okay so uh, this entire cycle may they have not only eaten on the available cotton ball but also plugged it pulled it down to the ground okay so first problem their proliferating number second problem is the life cycle because of which they can live multiple lives on that same uh, available cotton plot Plus, the third problem is the adult life, which feeds not only feeds on the cotton fiber, but also plucks it down on the ground. And the fourth problem is, it is a monophagous pest. Monophagous pest, matlab, it feeds on only cotton. Okay. Or majorly, uh, till date, not many crops have been found, uh, which can uh, feed pink ball worm. Okay. So, these are some of the major issues why pink ball worm is a threat to the cotton growers in India. Okay, uh, let us quickly go through about cotton and have we taken out any solution related to pink ball worm? So about cotton, we need to remember that it is just like coconut. The way coconut provides three F's that is food, feed, that is animal feed and fuel. Okay. The way it provides food, feed and fuel, similarly, cotton also provides food, feed and fuel. Okay. So, basically, it, it is uh, the amount of, if you are talking about one cotton ball, okay, 
the amount of fiber content we know usually cotton as a fiber only right but the amount of fiber that comes out from one ball is almost 35% only this rest 65% is the seed content so seed content is the major chunk amongst the 65% also almost 15% is the oil that is coming out of it okay uh, out of the 65% the 15% of the 65% is the oil that we can extract from the cotton seed. But the 85% is once you have extracted the oil from the seed, whatever remains that can be turned to a residual cake that will be going to the feed, to the animal feed. Okay. So 85% is the residual cake. Okay. Cotton seed, the oil that this 15% we are talking about, this oil is the third largest, third largest oil, consumable oil in India. The largest is mustard. The second largest is soya bean. And the third one is the cotton oil, cotton seed oil rather. Okay. And the cotton feed cake, the cake, this 85% residual cake that we are forming, this is second, second just after soya bean itself. So, cotton has so many uses. It has immense use. Plus, the bigger, the biggest advantage of cultivating or uh, allowing the farmers to cultivate cotton is that most of the farmers who are involved in cotton cultivation are small farmers. So, any scheme related to incentivization or uh, pest, pest uh, immunity related to cotton will benefit the small farmers. Okay. So that was about cotton growth in India. So we, we got to know about the problem of American ballworm. American ballworm. In around 2001, okay, because of American ballworm, the production of cotton was very less. So uh, we came up with a new cotton. The, this is the... Uh, genetically modified variety of cotton. Genetically modified matlab, about the genes, uh, in their gene structure we will make certain changes. Okay. Because of these changes it became resistant to American ballworm. Okay. So if you see, uh, as soon as we got the new variety of cotton that was a BT cotton, the cultivation started to increase. But approximately by 2014 what happened was 95% of the cotton that was cultivated in India became a BT cotton. That means diversity ended. Diversity of cotton ended. Everybody started cultivating BT cotton and that is approximately 95%. So once the diversity ends, that means any new pest can gain resistance to single variety. If it was multiple variety, it was difficult for the pest to gain resistance. If it's a single variety, it's relatively easy. So over a period of time, the BT cotton, which was immune to American ballworm pest, it became victim of pink ballworm. So, from 2014 onwards, again the production has started decreasing because of the new worm that was the pink ballworm. Okay. So, we can see that the production started decreasing. So, what is the alternative solution? Alternative solution is we can take up a new procedure. This procedure is known as the mating disruption. Mating disruption, may what do we do is through certain any by using any technique. It can be a different pipe also here or this in this kind of thread also. Okay. What do we do is we add a pheromone here. Pheromone is added here. A pheromone. Pheromone uh, by the name gossip pleur. This is added such that now the, for example, the female uh, female uh, adult is sitting on the flower. Okay, but the pheromone is present somewhere here or somewhere close up to the roots or somewhere else. Okay, so the adult male which will look for these pheromones only. He will get confused. And he will not go to the female, he will get confused and he will go to these pheromones. So, if we are injecting this chemical in this part or here, so the adult does not tend to meet the female in the first 7 to 10 days, which is the mating period. Okay, mating period, the initial 7 to 10 days of the adult uh, 
pest may he they will have to conduct the mating but we, they were not able to do because of this kind of distraction of the pheromone right so then the larva will not be formed the egg will not be formed larva will not be formed and then we will be able to tackle the issue so that is an alternative solution and how much amount of this pheromone uh, this chemical will be required uh, not every plant may we need to tie this up okay we need to tie approximately 165 165 plants in one acre only 165 plants when this chemical has to be put up okay once it is put up then the pest will get confused okay uh, what is the tagging time the tagging time is approximately 40 to 45 days post sowing so once the seeds have been sowed after that 40 45 days may once this uh, tagging is done then we will be able to uh, immune the plant the cotton plant from the pest okay so that can be a solution so with that we come to the end of this video i wish you all the very best and thank you so much